run itself. If not, we're right on through. All right. Now we've got both of our screeners set in a stagger. What we're going to do is we're going to roll our low forward, our first screener, right back into the center of the floor. All right, right back in the center of the floor. Continuing now with our split variation, we've got our low forward and trail forward stagger. Our wing players come through off of that stagger, and there's, here's where we get the split action. We take our low forward after the screen, and we roll that forward straight up to the top of the circle. If we aren't able to get the action of this wing off that staggered screen, we want to throw it in a timely fashion to the top, to our lead forward. And that's when we get the split. Our point guard has now stepped into play here. So we have a little balance with our wing and our point guard. We go ahead and empty out our trail forward after that cut. We're going to end up with a trail forward right in that area. Ball in the high post. We're now running a split, give and go split, with our wing and our point into the post area. Our lead forward is now at the top of the circle, has had a chance to evaluate the split cutters. No opportunity to get a pass to them for a basket. All right, now we're just right into a simple motion concept of down screening. So we just down screen for our split cutters. And we like off the down screen, we like to have those guys curl. For the purposes of our break, we'd like to have them curl the down screen. So when you get all the way through this action and you've, you've gotten your wing cutter off a stagger, you've gotten your split cutters off your high post, and you get all the way through to your down screen and curl, we believe at one point there we're going to get one of those options with the last option obviously being uh, our curl cutters in this area. They can get a catch. What we see often is there's a catch in the, on this curl and they continue on, put the ball on the deck here a little bit, take it into the lane and they can drop it off to a teammate and there's a nice playmaking action off of this. Again, we're looking for a shot off a split. We're not trying to, we're not running through this just to go through the motions. Clip 22 illustrates a variation we call split. In this case, we are going to get a wing off a double screen on a curl cut, a post flash to the middle, a guard split off of the post flash. The splitters will receive down screens and will either get a jump shot or some sort of a penetration and drop like we did here for the finish. A thought to keep in mind when coaching your kids and coaching your program is that in the end it's not about us. It's about the kids, it's about planning for their strengths, it's about taking that team that you have this season and doing what you can to put those players in the best position to succeed based on their strengths. I think many times, I shouldn't say many times, but I think at times coaches get, get a little bit, and I know I get this way, where you, we know what we know and we know what's worked in the past and we know what we prefer from our comfort perspective. We know the offenses and defenses that we've been accustomed to. And we want to we, we go that direction. We want to show our kids that same stuff year after year. But our, our challenge and our responsibility is to take our current players and do what we can do from a leadership perspective to help them succeed.